Welcome to the first annual BSB holiday party. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> Allie, <laughs> can I get a little? <laughs> so my name is Carson Tate, and here are my party friends. Um, why don't we go around the room and let y'all introduce each other? Georgia, start us off. Am I supposed to introduce myself or somebody else? Because you said we should can introduce, introduce someone else. It's a party <laughs> here. Do what you want. <laughs> Hi, Georgia Beers coming at you from my living room. Um, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. I wish it was in person, but you know what? This is a pretty good, it's a pretty good alternative. Chris, anyone, tell anyone? us who you are. <laughs> Hello, I'm Chris Bryant. Um, I am coming to you live from my living room. Um, you can see my tree, my kitchen. Uh, I'm happy to be here as well because I miss everybody's faces and I miss hugs and kisses. And I'm glad to see you all. And uh, Melissa, take it away. <laughs> oh, well, I am Melissa Braden, and I'm thrilled to be at this little shindig oh. for the holidays. And I'm coming to you from my upstairs loft. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> Allie Valley. Hi, I'm Allie Valley. I'm coming to you in my office with Mr. Dingle. <laughs> we'll talk about him later. <laughs> in New Orleans. So, welcome, everyone. <laughs> All right, Ann. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm coming to you from my virtual living room because my office is a mess. Um, <laughs> and glad to see faces and enjoy the holidays with everyone. And uh, that's it. <laughs> we gotta go to El Spencer. El Spencer. Oh, El, yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm El Spencer. Hello. Coming to you from <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Christmas Town. <laughs> I, I gotta ask. I, I'm you know, as we're hobnobbing at our party here, El, I can't help but notice your really cool shirt. Can you take us on a little tour and show us what's there? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. All right. I'll show you. I have, um, you know, a couple of oven mitts on my. Yeah, you do. <laughs> on your hot tatas. <laughs> hot stuff. Hot stuff. Uh, Too hot to handle. Awesome. I I, uh, I enjoy I enjoy the all of these Christmas sweaters. I I'm rocking the reindeer here. He's on skis. I don't know if you caught that because my camera cuts it off. But what about you, Alley Valley? What do you got on your shirt there? I have the Fergili shirt. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Italian. Yes. Italian. <laughs> Must be Italian. <laughs> yes, I'm digging it. What about you, Ann? Oh, I'm rocking the homemade shirt here but unfortunately because it's green it looks like i have a hole in me so it's a christmas tree she's holy we decorated my little and, oops, my and little santa you shot before you came on here you remember in death becomes her when she's got the hole in her <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah like that's a merry christmas technology right there, there you uh, go. <laughs> georgia beers are you lighting up what's happening i, I am lighting it. up they were blink oh my gosh can make them blink but See? Yeah, there you go. Yes. Uh, got a little, and then they can blink really fast, but that's going to give us all problems. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go nice and easy with the soft glow. <laughs> all right. And, and Chris, I, I think you're believing in something there. On I'm that. believing in Santa and unicorns because that's who I am. Woo! All right. Well, you, you know, hey, 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 hey what, what's up? I'm sorry, guys. Um, so I was over at the eggnog bowl and um, rad corn. Oh, no. And um, so because we couldn't get together this year, she wants to do something really big when we can all get together, like some really over the top event. And by the end of this party, she wants me to report back to her on what it is. So can you help me out? I, I, we can try. I mean, I mean, yeah. Let me, let me like get a little more liquor in me before I <laughs> join it. You need like a big idea. I need like a big idea, like big a big one. idea. Like if we had an unlimited budget, we may not have an unlimited budget, but if we did have an unlimited budget, uh, <laughs> something we could do so we could reconnect with all our readers and in person, mingle, drink, do all the things, something really fun. Um, Georgia, go. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I think... I mean, unlimited budget is, 
you know, it may not be. Unlimited. <laughs> I'm running with unlimited because that's what you said. So I'm running with unlimited. Go with it. If you need to tweet, twiddle it down a little. I'm okay with that. You can't back down. Um, <laughs> I think if I had my way, I think we should rent. You should out. always have your way. I should always have my <laughs> way. Why is that not a thing? That should be know, right. <laughs> it's George's world. <laughs> that's right. You all can live in it. I will allow that. <laughs> I think we should rent out a vineyard in Napa, like the whole, thing. like one Ooh. of those ones with like outbuildings and stuff, Cheers like a restaurant to that. and an inn, and the the tasting room and the winery itself and the vineyard itself, and then um, we could do like a scavenger hunt. We do a scavenger hunt. Nice, yeah. And each of like us, that. like each of the authors, could be at a location <laughs> so the readers get a clue. And then clue is like related to an author. So like they have to find a, a gavel and that's related to Carson. And so they do, they get the clue. They okay. run around all over the vineyard, of course, drinking wine the whole time because I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. the vineyard, but, well, <laughs> I'm um, writing this when down. When they find the gavel oh, wait, wait. and Carson, you're there. Mm -hmm. And then you give them the next clue, which is, you know, a dozen donuts. And then they have to go find a dozen donuts and then they find the dozen donuts and Melissa Braden appears and she gives the next clue and so on and so forth. Wait, do they, they get to eat the dozen donuts? <laughs> What's that, Anne? Do they get to eat the dozen donuts at least? I think they should be allowed to eat okay. the dozen donuts. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. To totally and they have to pair them with different wines. Ah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not coming if we can't eat the donuts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I gotta eat the donut, donut and wine pairing scavenger hunt. Yes, and then there you go. go. There's a huge dinner with all of us, and we wine taste, and then we get to play games or do whatever we want for the rest of the evening, and everybody stays on site for the night. All okay, right. I, I'm loving this Napa Valley yeah. donut wine pairing scavenger hunt. Yes, on it. All right. hmm. It's got to be one of the ones that has wine things in the wall. You ever seen those the ends where there's like spigots no. in the wall where you walk into your room and you can stop and fill up your wine? No. No. Thing. I have no. It's the way to go. Oh. Yeah. I have a question. Oh, for you. It's good, Anne. It's good. I've, been to, those, I've been to one of those bars and it's good. <laughs> you had me at wine in the wall. Will <laughs> there be goats? Has a question. Will there be goats? Okay. There well, should be goats, yes. Oh, good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Always okay. goats. Okay, I like that idea. Um, okay, anybody have another idea, Melissa? Yeah, I, are you raising I, your I hands? I like it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I, I, I like the Napa idea beers. I do, but I I have an idea that's a, that's a little more. I I don't know. It's got the Braden spin on it a bit. I I want you guys to to picture it. All right, New York City in the fall, all right? So the weather is chilly, the, the leaves are changing color and the beverages are all hot and toasty. And, and we meet as a group, authors and readers alike, everybody together at the Bullmore Lanes in Times Square for, wait for it, a bowling <laughs> tournament. And then this is what I'm thinking. So we'll have it book themed, right? And so we'll all mix together on teams, genre versus genre. We're talking romance writers versus mystery writers versus speculative fiction, any genre you can come up with. And we bowl our little hearts out and we laugh and we drink, but wait for it. When your team is eliminated, you are then escorted to the puppy pen. That's oh right. Puppies so eliminated right away. <laughs> puppies. The affection of little puppies and all they want to do is to kiss your face and to fall asleep in your lap. And then when our bowling tournament cuddle-a-thon adjourns, we'll head a couple streets over to Sardi's where we will have Ooh. the feast of all feasts. Paid for, of course, all by Bold Strokes Books. We will have filet mignon and oysters and lobsters and the champagne shall flow gloriously. And we will have the best time before heading a few streets over to the Richard Rogers Theater, where we will fill the orchestra and watch a Broadway performance of Hamilton, which for one night only, the original cast <laughs> shall return to just perform for just for us. For us. <laughs> and then we shall finish our night all on stage together, where we will raise a toast to our fabulous time. We shall take a group photo and vow to come back every year and let the fun continue. <laughs> All right, what all do right. you think? Yeah. Bravo, bravo. Yeah. Pretty good. Fine. 
<laughs> the puppies, so though. The fun. puppies, the donuts. I can't take it. I can't take it. Bowling, <laughs> puppies, Sardis, Hamilton, Hamilton, original cast, original cast, free flowing champagne. You know, there's one detail I missed. Um, the the warm drinks at the beginning, the hot drinks. Yeah, you need the hot drinks what, of what all those? kinds. You know exactly. We're talking cider. We're talking leaded cider. We're talking hot chocolate. Uh, all the coffee. We should set up a hot whole bar wine. at the bowling alley of all of the warm beverages. And you know, you know, Broadway needs us, you guys. We gotta go. Can sure. we take our puppies to Hamilton? <laughs> yeah, I arranged it. <laughs> I talked to the house manager. He's good. Wait, Carson, we're taking the puppies. Yeah. yeah, we're taking the puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know that? No. <laughs> and we get to listen to Melissa describe all that yet, yet again. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. Now I'm hungry and <laughs> I want to see Hamilton. Let's um, go. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. That is really good. I. I don't know. Um, I think everyone's in. I think I, 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 yeah. comments, everyone loves it. I, I think so. Oh, people, there's someone who doesn't like bowling and it's, oh, it's Sandy Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming. Like, I bowl like Fred Flintstone. I like take That's those little tiny steps. You get to get to the puppies oh. earlier that way. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to lose just so I can go with the puppies. All right. Well, if you're going to yeah. lose, you got to tell us what you got. You got an idea, Chris? Okay, I have an idea. Something totally outside of the norm, I think. Um, I think because it's totally... been in the norm so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, puppies and you know plays and everything and wine. It's all, I'm all in. That's normal. Um, I think we should like maybe go to like rent a huge mansion or like a haunted mansion, like the Biltmore in North Carolina. Um, for all of us, for readers, for writers. And I think that we should like recreate Clue, but yes. do it with like an interactive style. So, awesome. so we all have a character to play, like Elle Spencer's going to be Mrs. Peacock, because I mean, who else wouldn't be? <laughs> <laughs> no. And Anne can be, um, oh gosh, she can be um, uh, Miss Scarlet. And <laughs> Braden can be Yvette because I mean, who doesn't want to see that? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and we'll just, and like Allie can be Colonel Mustard. And of course, you know, like <laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> and I think, you know, of course, Carson, of course, is going to be the uh, investigator. So we have some other, uh, we'll raffle off the other uh, characters in there, like the, uh, the, the singing telegram. <laughs> and the, uh, <laughs> there you go, perfect. She's ready. She's ready. <laughs> Officer, and that could be like raffled off to readers. And then what will happen is after there's the murder, then we turn to the audience and we get all the readers and ask them what they saw. So we do like this huge investigation and we find out like who did it. So and then once we find out, and we all know it's going to be Ally Valley because like she's perfect for murder. I mean, she's going to get murder every time. So <laughs> yeah, but we don't know what she did it with. It's, is it the That's power true. washer in the parlor? I'm going to go with the power washer. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the power washer. But, you know, to be determined. I was just there like about a month ago and there's a meat grinder in the kitchen. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> Somebody then, at our suggested that the readers could rotate being Mr. Body. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> exactly. And that's one of the ones we raffle off. We raffle off Mr. Body, the inspector, or the, uh, the policeman, the, um, uh, the singing telegram. The and there's telegram somebody else I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the cop. Um, so I think we could do that. I think Stranded that'll work. And then once we're all done, we'll take the BSB train because, of course, we have a BSB train. Oh, yeah. We'll take it over to Myrtle Beach and we'll play like it will spend a day at the amusement parks and uh, we'll build a bonfire on the beach that we'll have a permit to and we'll all just sit around and like eat s'mores and drink wine and uh oh and then one moment please wait are there puppies <laughs> if she comes back with a puppy oh my goodness oh. And then <laughs> molly gets passed around and loved by everybody uh, there on the beach because oh, you know that's please. how you spend the night is you spend it on the beach you. My oh. Baby. Oh, so that's my idea you little molly i like it 
So my favorite part was where you how you made us know that you were going to get a permit for the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part was the train. Chris is very rule abiding. <laughs> <laughs> we can yeah, all rest easy. There's, There's a permit. Haunted Mansion, murder mystery, BSB train to Myrtle Beach, bonfire, mm-hmm. and snuggles with Molly. Yes. Aww. Good day. Okay. I'm, I'm in on that one. Okay. I'm trying to figure out a way to combine all these. Um, That's a great <laughs> one for each day. day. Exactly. Like a week at each one. Do a week at each one. Well, I think that's a great idea, Anne. So what are we doing for your week? Well, see, mine is kind of a mix between Georgia and Chris's, but it's more fantastic, I think, because it's my idea. Um, <laughs> but I'm thinking, <laughs> we, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm thinking we rent out one of those ghost towns that were converted to a resort oh. and we make um we 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 all come together and as the town townspeople and we have to come up with characters that live in that town each individual person has to come up with the characters that each live in that town and rad Ooh, who's the sheriff of course <laughs> and rad who's the sheriff has to come up with storylines for us to work to collaborate on and then the readers are going to visit the town and visit different locations that have been assigned to these groups or to these townspeople. And we're going to either do a reading or act out our storylines for the readers. So they get the experience being in this old West town. And then afterwards, we have a nice campfire. And once, like Chris said, we, we toast marshmallows and drink lots of wine. Um, I don't have puppies, um, but uh, <laughs> I do have lots like of wine and marshmallows. Or, I like it. I like it. Thank I love you. it. Um, Book towns are awesome. Town is on my bucket list. Uh, Mine too. That's why I suggested it. <laughs> I, I figure like, I get it out the way. I would like to claim <laughs> dibs on being the salon at uh, salon saloon. Saloon. <laughs> saloon. <laughs> Do you want to be the madam who runs the, the top of the saloon? I'm not going to be the madam. I'm going to be the barkeep. Who wants to be the madam? <laughs> Allie. <laughs> I'll be the madam. Oh yeah, <laughs> can I can I uh, dress up like a cowgirl? Yeah, yeah, you can. Of course, you can dress yeah. up any way you like. That's a that's a part of it. We have to all be in character. Okay. I want to be a gunslinger. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Al, you and I could have a um, a duel. Ooh, nice gunfight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lock sharp, high noon. There you go. <laughs> And then every time we do a show, one or the other of us wins. So we like alternate so that it's fair. See, there you go. It's See, fair. we're already coming up with ideas for the storylines. I love it. I love mm-hmm. it. So to recap, we have Ghost Town Resort. We've got Rad as the sheriff. Mm-hmm. There will be order in this town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am the, s- not salon, but saloon <laughs> Allie is the madam, along with Anne. They'll have to share duties. <laughs> Ellen and George are going to shoot each other on the daily. <laughs> Trading off. In between shootings, there will be campfires with toasted marshmallows, and I love it. Yes. What don't you love about that? I'm on page oh, three. My notes now. <laughs> it's a fabulous idea, Anne. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. L. You got an idea for us? You got. Well, I got a couple of ideas. Um, I think I should probably run them by you, though, um, first, so I don't offend anyone. Did you know I tend to. I'm a little scared now. (laughs) (laughs) It's a thing. Sell it, Elle. Sell it. Okay. Um, Okay. Now, hear me out. Oh, <laughs> we're all braced now. We're bracing. Okay, nativity scene, costume party. Uh, um. Okay, well, maybe- <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to cut you off, but that might seem a little blasphemous to some people. Um, <laughs> maybe if we be the real baby Jesus, we could be like you know, um, just to 
cousin who just happened to be born on the same day. <laughs> Um, <laughs> good enough right okay i might regret this but keep going <laughs> i'm intrigued, okay. I'm intrigued. So, okay so um we choose who plays who but so like for baby jesus we probably don't want to choose someone who um already likes to be swaddled because that's i'm out you know, i you remember at that GCLS party uh, we went to in Vegas, like there was so much swaddling. <laughs> like, who knew that was even a thing? I, apparently, it's very soothing. I like, learned a lot. Adult swaddling. Also, who doesn't love the word swaddle? Let's say it together. One, two, three. Swaddle. 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 <laughs> but also, wouldn't it be awesome if um, whoever we do choose to play baby Jesus? would wear an adult size onesie with the words across the chest, who's your daddy? <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with I you. I see where you're going. <laughs> okay. Okay. Also, okay. also, doesn't Rad have like a, like a literal farm with goats and ducks and stuff? Um, wait, Legit. hold on, hold on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Like, I envisioned this, like, you know, you were going to Vegas, <laughs> Vegas? <laughs> like at the Four Seasons or something, and you're like, got no, 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 no. I, what I have in mind is we, we do it in the Four Seasons total landscaping parking lot. <laughs> that, way, that way, she could bring goats and a mini horse and you know the mini horse could play the donkey and maybe he did rides and rad could play the shepherd <laughs> it's too perfect it's almost too perfect isn't it oh, this conversation's too perfect ideas are born <laughs> this is my job on this one i think <laughs> Okay, fine. We'll rent. We'll rent a real baby. Oh no, 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 no real babies. <laughs> okay, but seriously, Carson, you need to run the donkey um, idea by Rad because also, I mean, we could make big bucks by doing a get your photo taken with a donkey booth, or even better. Get your photo taken with baby Jesus. Oh, my God. that's like brilliant. No, oh my God. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me, I'm going to talk about this one. Okay, okay, okay. Don't cut me off. Just. <laughs> but wait, <Sorry>. there's more. <laughs> there's oh going to be puppies. <laughs> Okay, here's an idea. Here's another one that I think could really work. Um, how about if we have a touchy subject party? Um, you know, after a few glasses of wine or whatever your preference is, the authors, authors, the authors bring up a, a touchy subject and the readers have to guess who it is. Like... Like, here's an example, okay? Um, remember that time in Vegas when a yeah, certain I, I got arrested for indecent exposure? <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> remember that? Say that one more time. When we were in Vegas and a certain author got arrested for indecent exposure. Hey, I thought we were gonna hey, talk about that. was about me. A certain author in Vegas. She's in oh Vegas. <laughs> okay, wait. Do you really think this is a good idea for a party? <laughs> no, I think this is a fabulous idea for a party. It'll be so. He believes in it. Imagine what about the incident in P Town that we will always refer to as the time a certain author flirted with the wrong woman. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Looking at you. you know who you are. 
I wasn't there. It wasn't me. <laughs> I know that the readers are going to want to do that. I don't want to be raining on your parade or anything. It will be entertaining. You think you really think that the readers out there, and hopefully, you know, they'll help me here, wouldn't want to know about that time a best-selling author whose anonymity I will protect by winking at her. <laughs> Did a walk of shame the morning after she won a goldie? <laughs> okay, wrap it up. <laughs> okay, you be dressed like a shepherd at the time, so it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, okay how about okay? Here's another one. Um, how about if? We have a dress as your favorite Republican party and you can go as Ann Coulter. <laughs> no? That would be okay, something. Very <laughs> good. No? Yes. <sighs> okay. Um, okay. <laughs> this is this is the last one. Oh my god, there's more? <laughs> I can't believe you lay down so only thought of one idea and L has like <laughs> The whole weekend. <laughs> Making us all look bad. <laughs> okay, so we have a potluck, okay? And everyone brings their least favorite dish <laughs> and names it after their least favorite word. So I will be bringing engorged spam. How about you guys? How about you guys? I just can't. I can't. So, so this is the point where I would recap. But good luck with that. To go with live nativity scene costume party. Oh my gosh! Who I can't. hurt you? Who hurt you? <laughs> so many people! Wow. Okay, that was um, that was a lot of really Ooh. interesting ideas. <laughs> I, I wrote a lot of notes. <laughs> okay, Alley Valley, take us home. <laughs> How do you follow that? <laughs> Give me something to work with here. Okay, I was th thinking um, there will be no babies involved in mine. <laughs> and, um, I was thinking of stage so I will send out a list before whoever signs up will get a list ahead of time of all my favorite places to have dessert in New Orleans. So BSB will rent a bus. We will put all the readers on the bus and then you will stop. Like our first stop will be Commander's Palace and we'll have the bread pudding souffle and the yes. uh, strawberry shortcake, which is in season yes. right now. And then like Rad will be there reading. Um, and then we will move on to the next place, the Palace Cafe, and we will have the white chocolate, white chocolate bread, bread pudding. pudding. There. And then <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Maybe Clayton will be reading there. And then so we'll make it our way around town. And then once we're full on maybe dinner and desserts, then we will hit my favorite place is to have old fashions. So we we'll go to the, uh, yeah, yeah. So we, I have a question. The hot tin roof. Uh, there's a fabulous view of the city. What's that? <laughs> I just was wondering if there would be any engorged spam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and skip that. <laughs> I'm not gonna have that. But it sounds so, so delicious. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> like the shit dip or something. <laughs> I don't know. So once we do that, we'll have a uh, so whoever makes it to the most places and finishes the most desserts, well then we'll have a contest, and then whoever wins gets to have dinner at whatever restaurant you want. Of course, paid by BSB, and you get to go with your favorite author, and then I will be happy to chauffeur you to and from the from wherever restaurant you want to go. And then while we're doing that, I will be then driving the party bus and then we'll drive around New Orleans and I'll 
tell some ghost stories and um can we add a haunted tour yes so once we end the night tonight in jackson square within everyone will pay to have everyone uh have their tarot cards read so and then about by this time it'll be about six o'clock in the morning so then we will go to cafe du mall and have coffee and dinner Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I like it. I like so, it a lot. That's my oh, idea. Okay. I love it. We have white chocolate here. bread pudding. <laughs> and I think you knew that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if only you, you and Sandy would learn to listen to me. Bread pudding. I'm going to get the. This peach crap on the menu. That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Allie has taken me before to have almost every bread pudding at every Brennan's restaurant <laughs> in uh, New Orleans. Pudding is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to recap, we have New Orleans. Excellent. Um, progressive dessert extravaganza followed by progressive old-fashioned extravaganza <laughs> yes. followed by coffee and beignets and tarot readings exactly and ghost stories and ghost stories and so we'll have a sugar high we'll be drunk and scared <laughs> and have coffee to wake us up and more sugar to keep us going the rest of the day i like it i love it very well rounded <laughs> <laughs> covered all the spectrums yep I, um, I I do I come with uh, references. If you ask Sandy's parents, I we didn't exactly go on that tour <laughs> that I just mentioned, but I did show them around New Orleans, and we had a fabulous time. There you go. <laughs> okay, that was. Um, that was How do we do? I I mean, I I can't decide. <laughs> I I mean that's a lot. Um, it is a lot. So how about this? Well, I was writing these down for somebody. <laughs> I wrote down a few keywords, so I'm gonna let the readers vote. And while they're voting, I'm gonna launch this poll. And while they're voting, let's, let's. It won't let me vote. <laughs> <laughs> I know I tried to. <laughs> yeah, what do you vote for? <laughs> All of them, just click, 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 click. <laughs> All right. So. The readers are voting and that's kind of fun to watch and in the meantime, <laughs> let's play a game would you like to play a game um well it's a party cocktail raise your hands up like all fingers oh okay. oh it's the game oh and it's oh. <laughs> I you were dancing. Uh, that was I awesome <laughs> all right so we're gonna play this game you hold your hands up and lower a finger if you've done something on the list I'm about to read. And at the end, the person with the most fingers raised is nice. And oh. the, the least fingers raised is, thank you, Chris. Naughty. Naughty. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Yes. <laughs> okay, lower your finger if you have ever regifted a gift. If you have tidied your background prior to this call. <laughs> Some of you came with tidy backgrounds. I'm looking at you, Ann Shade and Melissa. <laughs> you have a background too, don't you, Elle? Yes, I do. It's, my fingers are cramping, by the way. No. <laughs> it's, it's not, you don't have to be so intense about it. You can just put it down the wrong direction, I think. I got to do it in a different way. Mine is not a background though. Mine is legit messy. Me too. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay. Have you lied about your holiday plans to avoid family or friends ever? <laughs> ever? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys. Um, All right. Have you ever worn only business on top for a video call? Right now. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> right now. Oh. Oh, my finger. Okay. Have you ever embarrassed yourself at a holiday party? Like right now. <laughs> like right now. Yes. Right now. <laughs> oh. Have you ever faked or you just don't know the words to old anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Have you knowingly purchased an excessive amount of toilet paper this year? Probably. Yes. Yes. I have it all. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever passed off purchase food as homemade? <laughs> <laughs> no one would believe it. <laughs> have you faked or gave up a New Year's resolution within two days? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> At least Allie's ahead of me. <laughs> This one should apply to most people, except George, I would imagine. If you have purchased a present last minute. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow, I'm surprised. <clears throat> Allie? <laughs> if you that one. <laughs> Allie has one left. <laughs> have you ever given food under the holiday table to the dog so you didn't have to eat it? Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Who <laughs> doesn't <laughs> And have you, lied the the, have, have you lied in the course of this game? So, George and Melissa are nice. Yeah. Um, or boring, however you want to put naughty. it. <laughs> and we've got borderline naughty and nice here. And you're right on the cusp there, I think. Like L yes. and I are tied. <laughs> I didn't have to play. Um, I want Chris's wine glass. Our poll Isn't it is awesome. Our poll is it's still like going. Um, <laughs> we have some time, so um, so. <clears throat> what are your favorite things about the holiday season, Melissa? Well, I like going out to all the stores and the mall, and to the movies, and to seeing all of my friends out in public. But it's a little different right now. So I'm going to say this getting to see all of you on a call like this. <laughs> Don't you usually go to New York? At uh, yeah, that used to be tradition was the night of Christmas was to fly to New York and spend a week and see like two shows a day. It was awesome, but can't do that. Yeah, for many reasons. But yeah. it was a great tradition. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be resumed. Yes. And how about you? Um, decorating. I love Christmas decorations. That's, that's my big thing. So although you can't see my real, cause it's all downstairs, not in my messy office. <laughs> I, I love decorating. You, I love how you convert your messy office. I need, I need some skills. I got a new computer so I can use backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this is. This is a lovely background. <laughs> awesome. Elle, I'm scared to ask you. So I'm going to go to Chris. <laughs> Um, for sure, it's gift giving. I love giving gifts. I absolutely love it. Um, I think, and I've said this before, I think I give the best gifts, but only in my head. Like for me, I'm totally satisfied with what I get you as a gift. I think it's the best thing and it might be horrible for you, but I don't care because I feel really good about it. So, <laughs> but for sure. And that carries on every year. So, I mean, even though this year has kind of been crazy, um, I feel like, you know, I'll, I'll, I've been online shopping since August for Christmas. Oh my so, gosh, you are so yeah. far ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and done. So do you need to give see the person open it to have all your no. glory? No, no, not at all. No. I just like I said, the minute it's gone, I know that I've done a good thing, and I feel like this is the perfect thing for them, even though it probably isn't. I don't care because in my head and in my heart, it is it's perfect. Gift. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> gift giving. Gift giving is all about her. <laughs> it is. I mean, how, how can I make it so selfish? Something so selfless. I make it selfish. That's me. <laughs> Allie, what's your favorite holiday thing? Uh, like Melissa, I usually go to New York before the holiday. I mean, while mm -hmm. the stores are all decorated, but yeah, well, yeah. Actually, I guess because Christmas in Cuba really is a huge thing. It's Christmas Eve, like. No matter what you were doing, you had to go to my mother's house and we had the big dinner with the roasted pig and the black beans and you know the whole spread. And then uh, my <laughs> brother got married to an American, so on Christmas Day they would go to her family. So our my mom, my dad. That's why I'm wearing this T-shirt. I mean this shirt today with the fragili on it. Uh, my mom, my dad, and I would go and eat Chinese food. 
<laughs> this is uh, restaurant open on Christmas. So that was our Christmas tradition. So now I travel. So actually last year for Christmas, I was in. Did you, did you say Morocco? This year I'm not. <laughs> Morocco. <laughs> This year, you're sitting in your office. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, oh, raise your hand. Oh. I did. I had a question for Allie, but then I just remembered that it was in Argentina. It's not Cuba, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's something to do with roller skating. It was on, like, who wants to be a millionaire about, like, this is a tradition in the streets of blank, and you had to guess what it was, and, and I remembered, I thought it was Cuba, but it's Argentina, where they roller skate. It's like a tradition. Oh, yeah. When we got to this country, my mom actually adopted some of the American traditions, like the Christmas tree and, mm -hmm. you know, getting up on Christmas Day and opening gifts and stuff. But um, really, in Cuba, you don't get Chris gifts on Christmas Day. You actually get them on King's Day, which mm -hmm. is here, yeah. the beginning of party cross. So, mm -hmm. and, and they, kind of like a Holland tradition, and they would put it in your shoes next to your bed. So uh, growing up, and even, you know, until my mother passed away, uh, and we spent the night at her house, you would wake up on January 6th, and there would be something in your shoes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Not a frog or something, just, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> mean. Like, oh. It's mean. <laughs> it's mean. I always have to ring up frogs when Melissa's in the <laughs> Georgia? Um, I'm a little bit with Anne because I love to decorate. I always decorate the Friday after Thanksgiving and then I spend my New Year's Day taking down my decorations, just re relaxing in the house, taking down the decorations, not worrying about anything. Um, and then cookies. Um, I'm learning the cookies that my family's always made and I usually go over and make some with my mom. I'm not this year, so it's a little different, but I've done some stuff myself, done a little baking on my own. Um, and decorating has been fun this year because I'm in a new house. So I've, mm -hmm. I've, I had to buy some stuff because the house is bigger than my apartment and I got everything out from my apartment and I decorated and then I had like all of this extra space. <laughs> so I'm learning where things should go. And it's just, it's been fun kind of, kind of experimenting in, in, a new, in a new space, but decorating is a big thing for me, definitely. So do you have like little dish towels with little Christmas things on them? And do you have like Christmas soaps in the bathroom? I have Christmas soap. Yep. I have Christmas towels. Yep. You're my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I have Christmas dishes. My mom, like every room in the house has something. <laughs> <I> love it. <laughs> okay, Elle. <laughs> uh, Carson, like you're safe. I promise. Um, I'm teasing you. Christmas is actually my very favorite holiday. Um, it, it was my family's as well. My dad was the guy who, um, you know, covered the entire exterior of the house in lights. And, you know, pe lines of people would go by our house. Um, and then my mom decorated, like yours, Carson, decorated the entire house. So we had a, yes. a flocked tree in the living room and a green tree in the family room and mini trees in every bathroom. and. Wow. It was, yeah, it was serious business and it was always a lot of fun. And um, one of my favorite things about it was, which would help explain my, my Christmas sweater here, is um, that for years, my dad, every Christmas morning has, has worn the same red sweatshirt with an actual hot pad that my mom sewed to the front of it because because she liked that she just loved this little hot pen thought it was so cute and she thought well I'm gonna you know put it on a sweater and my dad has worn that thing every Christmas morning <laughs> forever and awesome. um, you know when I was little I didn't think anything of it but then you know you get to an age where you're like is that a hot pad on your shirt dad <laughs> and so we, you know took a good hard look at it and then it was just the most hilarious thing to all of us and you know, and it, what a saint for, you know, him to wear that every morning. That's every amazing. So I next leveled it and used oven mitts for mine. So. Yeah, that's pretty intense, but I love it. It's such a good dad story. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Carson? What's your favorite thing about the holidays? Food. Um, <laughs> that's, that's the thing I miss. Like we do this for Thanksgiving and Christmas. We like split up 
who's making what. And we make all the things we like from, you know, my dad makes quiche. I make cinnamon rolls. My sister makes mimosas. Um, but, <laughs> but, you know, we, we all have our little things we make. So this year we're like making the things and just like dropping the portion off at each other's houses. So we still have all the things. We just don't have them together. Yeah. Okay, well, so let's um, go around and somebody asked what your favorite holiday movie or show is. So, Melissa, since you're a thespian. Okay, I'm just gonna warn you, in a minute, my dogs are gonna start howling because I just heard my child go outside and they're, they're gonna be upset. But <laughs> I still tell you that my favorite Christmas movie is it's a newer one, strangely, and it topped all the ones from my childhood. I, you know, as a kid, I loved um, uh, Rudolph. And, and you know what? The Christmas toy, the Muppets, the Christmas toy with rugby and Apple. I named my dog Apple. Uh, but currently it's Elf. And I think that's a very common oh, answer. Yeah. I think a lot yeah. of people love Elf, but it gets me and I love the music from it. And when I used to teach high school back in the day, I would show it to my kids and it was great. So, great. But that and the Christmas toy from the Muppets. And puppies. Yeah, they <laughs> want to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anne, favorite Christmas movie show? Um, it used to be A Wonderful Life until I saw a new one that just came out called Jingle Jangle's Chris, Jingle, Jingle Jangle's Christmas. Jingle Jangle, it was just on downstairs. Yes. Yeah. I absolutely am in love with that movie. Um, it is now my favorite of all time. And it's just the the story is touching. The cast is is wonderful. It's it's wonderful to see a whole wonderful happy Christmas story full of people that look like me. So that was the biggest thing. So that's yes, that's and, my Nika Noni Rose from Broadway, yes. Tony winner. She's fantastic. Yes, yes. Well, and Forrest Whitaker. I, he he he's usually such a brooding character, but I loved I loved how he played it. It's a great movie. That's awesome. I've got it queued up and ready to go right after this. So gotta gonna, watch it. Gotta watch it. <laughs> um, Allie Valley, is it your shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I would have to say uh, A Christmas Story. That one and, and Elf. I actually saw that one the other day. Oh, and then wow. The Three Way Tie. And then also uh, Christmas Vacation. <laughs> that again the other night and it's like it's so good. it's hilarious i mean just hilarious jelly of the month <laughs> <laughs> love it chris um two i have two love actually i love that movie i absolutely adore that movie um for the romance of it um and then uh, elf i'm an elf lover too and I love the scene where Zoe Deschanel is in the shower and she's singing and then he's just kind of sitting there and he kind of starts singing and chiming in. It's hilarious. I just love that movie. Yeah. So if I'm in a, if I'm in a fun movie mood, I'd go to Elf. And if I just want to feel good, like chill type movie, I'll watch Love Actually. I've seen it a thousand times at least. It's amazing. It's a really good movie. It is. Yeah. Elle, did we? So um, I like, um, the, the old claymation, when I was little, I loved the old claymation cartoons and like the one with Hermie, I, I'm terrible with movie titles, but the one the one with the dentist. Yes, oh, I Rudolph. Hermie. Hermie wants yeah, to be a dentist. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then for humor, Christmas Vacation, for sure. I love that one. And and the black and white one, um, Miracle on 34th Street. 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 Yes, I love that one. Yeah. Georgia. Oh, I have a whole bunch, but my favorite, I mean, I love Elf, like everybody else. I love, um, the claymations are hilarious. I used to always watch Rudolph every year, even into my adult years. And I would laugh because, you know, Santa's a bigot and, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, Rudolph is getting bullied the whole time, but I just, it's, it's my childhood. And so I would watch it every year. I haven't seen it this year, sadly. Um, but I love A Christmas Story. That is, that is my favorite. It is just, it makes me laugh every year. I know the whole thing by heart and I laugh out loud and I always save myself some time when I get home Christmas Eve because they show it on yes. TBS like for 24 hours. 
Mm-hmm. So when I get home from the, the chaos that is my family's, I get home, I just chill out, I get in bed and I watch it from start to finish before I go to bed. And it's just my favorite. I love it. Randy lay there like a slug. It was his only defense. <laughs> <laughs> I vividly remember being Randy in all those clothes trying yeah. to go. <laughs> <laughs> especially in Chicago. <laughs> so I love all of those, um, but I'm going to add um, the holiday. I was going to say oh, that. Yeah. That was the other one. That's yeah. good. I really That's like it because it's a twofer. You know, I love a good romance twofer. Yep. Um, and I, there's a Hallmark movie that we save on our DVR and it's like, got do not erase. And um, no. <laughs> I'm a huge Alicia Witt fan. And it's oh, uh, me too. the very merry mix up. That's a good one. And that is a great one. We watch it every year. It's so she, she's going to meet her fiance's parents and her fiance has to bag on her at the last minute. And he's going to show up later and she goes home with the wrong family. Um, <laughs> The airport she goes home with the wrong bill or something like that <laughs> but it's the right family <laughs> it's the right family exactly and she's adorable she's like a perfect girl next door i love her and if if she's in anything i'll pretty much watch it yep. so yep okay well um this has been a blast and i think it's time to find out who won the poll oh Raise your hand if it's snowing oh. where you are. Oh. If what? Or if there is snow, has been snow in the last week. In how long? <laughs> like 71 here. <laughs> <Allie>. <laughs> 73, yeah. I'm going to take this sweatshirt off later. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, so the winner and um, champion of the event planning extraordinario is um, Alley Valley. Ooh. Right, we're going to New Orleans, folks. Yay! Everybody else was pretty, you know, close. Um, Georgia was probably the closest to Alley, but everybody else was right in line there. Everybody loved your ideas, but Alley, you win and you will be chauffeuring all of us yes. with old fashioned. Your prize is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up, Carson. We get to drink. No, I, I just made a batch. <laughs> actually, Elle wants to dispute the results. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just Let's shocked check somebody was looking for my <laughs> one. It's because I know Hugo Chavez personally. <laughs> there will be no Giuliani-ing of the results. <laughs> 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 the polls oh, don't. We're not going to the Four Seasons garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh well this has been a lot of fun and um we're really excited y'all tuned in to join us be silly and <laughs> watch us be silly. and we hope you all have a wonderful holiday however you celebrate wherever you celebrate stay safe and um we'll look forward to seeing you when we can in person thank you happy holidays, happy holidays. Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays be everybody everyone be safe be happy yes <laughs> Bye. <laughs>